Wake up, Thomas. What the? Driver, must you wake an engine so I was having such a peaceful dream and... You'll have plenty of time to dream once the controller sends you for scrap for being lazy. Uh, fine, I'll come along. And Firelighter to come earlier? I'm freezing! Well, excuse me, but I can't control the weather. So, Mr. Sassy Boiler, do you plan to come? Yes. Good morning, Thomas. Indeed, good morning as well. It's no good. The tracks are icy and it's frigid. Ah, oh, come on, Thomas. Quit your complaining. We better hurry. Stupid cold, stupid drugs! How is an important engine like me supposed to feel important with this awful atmosphere? Perhaps stop complaining. I heard that does an engine wonders. Rubbish, Percy! Complaining gives me something else to think about. But anyway, don't you have cars to shunt? Well, if a certain red engine doesn't stop complaining, maybe he can shunt his own cars. In fact, that's what I'll do. Come! Back here, you pugnacious punk! Ugh. Whatever, I guess I'll shunt them myself. At least the movement will keep me warm. Honestly, that hot air of yours, I'm surprised you can feel the cold. Shut up, Henry. Just joking around. Joking around, Henry, is not what we need today. We need to focus and concentrate. And we also need sand! Tch! <laughs> Well, I'm fine! Oh. oh, dear. Keep moving like that and you'll need a new shape. Rubbish! I'm off. Mind the rails, you two. I will, and good luck. You'll need it, as will I! Get along, you useless lot! Ugh, where's Gordon? I have to wait for him for clearance. Calls himself the fastest express engine, yet he never seems to be on time. Uh oh, the tank engines do. Hello, James. Speak of the devil. Ha! Huh. Guess you aren't so splendid today! Bother! That's the third time! Ha! Huh. Well, well, well! What have we here? A tank engine who can't get a grip on life. <laughs> it's not funny. The tracks are atrocious, like your brakes. I just need some sand. I'll say. Stop it. Fine. I'll just give you a break. <laughs> you look as if you could use one. That's enough. I know you've been having trouble too. Yes, sir. Chobash, I've heard reports that the li your line is dangerously icy. I've expected a line with workmen, and I find this to be true. I'm cancelling your services till the weather improves. What about my passengers? The Bush Company is graciously offered to help. Bertie in particular wants to help. Bother. Bertie will never let me hear the end of this. Your line isn't the only one to be closed. Edward's line is closed as well. There'll be more freezing rain to come, and I need to focus on the main line. That's why I'm giving you and Percy and Edward special assignments. Like what? I'd like you guys to help repair the lines for the storm. It's a nice storm, so the tracks will need to be sanded properly. All, and all the engines need sandboxes. That's your job. You should look at the sand for the stations for sandboxes. Percy will prepare the yards properly, and Edward will be placed on anchor duty for going chill 
since the hill is the worst thing. Now, can you do those jobs for me, Chopper? I suppose so. Oh, sorry I'm late. The weather has been absolutely atrocious on the other railway, and I was delayed. Ha! <laughs> Rubbish! Thanks for making me late. I was forced to reduce speed because of the weather. It's horrible! Tell me about it. Oh, great. My train is delayed and I have to wait in the freezing rain. Ah, sorry, old boy, but there's no room. Under the platform, the coaches wouldn't leave. Inside. Pa, the passengers have umbrellas and coats. They'll be fine. Rubbish. You have a firebox that keeps you warm. <laughs> Not today. Oh, come on, it would help me. Help me. Whew. I'll try. But the tracks are slick. Finally, that was a workout. Goodbye. The tracks are getting icier. We need to stop trains for a while. You might be right. We'll report this when we get back. Sir, can my driver and fireman speak to the top of that? Gorse! I need a banker! Wait a minute, James. The hill is extremely icy. I haven't the time to wait. It's freezing out here if you didn't notice, James. Do you want to lose control? I'm gonna lose a lot of things if you don't help me out now! Patience is certainly one of them! <whistles> Hello, gentlemen. Look, Thomas has brought sand. Now we can go. I'm bringing in sand and salt for the station. At least fill up your sandbox, James. I'm fine, thank you. If you're not going to help me, Thomas will not! <sighs> I'm coming, James. James needs us. What about- I know, I know. But if we don't go, he will go on his own and drag poor little Thomas into this. Alright, on your way, boys. Push harder! I can't, James. More power! Yeah, more power! Here all night! Tomorrow too! Shut up! Hold back! Hold back! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, I can't get a grip! Use your sand! I've run out! <sighs> really, James? Bother! Oh, I'm low too. I knew I shouldn't have let you talk me into this. No! Ah, oh, no, no, I'm frozen! Brakes! Brakes! Ah, oh, no, no, no! Faster! Faster! Help! Clear the lines! Our runaway's on the way! They'll never stop in this weather. Maybe they can. Driver! Right. Steady, steady! I can't stop! Surge until you die! <laughs> now! Try breaking! James, grip on the set! I can't! All together now, break! 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 No, no, we won't slow! No, no, we won't slow! Keep talking, I'll yield you a lot for firewood! It's working! We're slowing down! <laughs> We're stopping! Uh oh, as if today has been bad enough, I have to take the slow line. Can things get any worse? Push against the trucks. Right! It's not working! James, you're supposed to pull! Whoops. It's gonna be close. Whew. Too close for comfort. Thank you, Thomas. Without you, we would have crashed straight into Gordon. I think I was in control, actually. Says the one who ignored that word and caused this in the first place. Rubbish! It's fine, James. I'll give you a break now. Or actually, I already did. Pa! Back to Wellsworth, everyone. I'm proud of how you all acted in the storm today. 
well, <clears throat> most of you. I'm particularly proud of Thomas and Edward for stopping a dangerous runaway. Leave it to those two to get the spotlight. Never won the night for four good strings in this weather. No appreciation for Henry. Pa, you had problems. Wait till you hear what I went through today. What you went through? What about me? God, you big engines are such babies. Agreed, Percy. I'll be seeing you later. Good news, Shetwood. Sometimes I wonder what my father was thinking when he bought you all. I don't regret it, sir. I like things the way they are. Those three complaining, Percy laughing, and Thomas smiling his way through it all. Agreed. Well said, Edward. Ah, oh, good night, Thomas. Night. Oh, and driver, yes. Tell Firelighter to come early. It's supposed to be cold. Yes, Thomas, I will. Good. <sighs> Even in the bad times, we still managed to get a grip on hope. Alright, just going to finish filing this paperwork and uh so oh, bother. I was just about to have some of the lady hat for Hello Hello, Charles. Well, this is a surprise. Haven't heard from you in a while. How have you been? Caught the craft fighting a short mishap today with your agents. That was the fault of the weather. And poor breaks. I'm thinking big here, it's so for the UK, so listen up. I was gonna revolutionize it and calling to involve you. Why me? You're a big man, and I'm not just talking about your weight. I'm talking about your connections, your popularity. I need that to succeed in my plans. Your ideas were always destructive in a sense, and I'm not getting involved. Not like high school. If you were not with me, then you are my enemy. <sighs> Never again. Now, where was I? Oh yes, Lady Hatch Fishing. 